Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I'm with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about rapid shutdown devices as outlined in the 2017 National Electrical Code and related to solar PV systems. Let's get started. In 690.12c of the 2017 National Electrical Code, it focuses on the rapid shutdown requirements related to one family and two family dwellings. And it states that the initiation device must be located at a readily accessible location outside the building. So if any one and two family dwellings that have solar PV systems installed related to the 2017 NEC, that initiation device, the, the switch that will activate the rapid shutdown uh, function of the PV system and shut down the voltages to the specified levels, both inside and outside the array boundaries, that device, that switch, has to be located outside the building and it has to be readily accessible. And as far as readily accessible, just, just a general understanding of what readily accessible means, it means that you you can't be forced to use a ladder to climb or to climb over, under, around. You have to be able to just kind of walk right up to it and activate it and and be able to, you know, shut the system down. So there there can't be any type of barriers to get to that uh, rapid shutdown switch. And if you think about that, that should make sense because when a first responder or emergency responder like a firefighter shows up and there's a PV system at the house and they need to uh, turn that off so they can make the system safe to be able to work, uh, uh, you know, dealing with a fire at that residence. They shouldn't have to be required to have some sort of a tool to get into a box to then shut it off or to, to bring out a ladder to climb over a fence or do something like that. They should be able to just walk right up to it, activate, you know, turn that switch to the off position and it shuts the PV system down. So just remember, one and two family dwellings, uh, that initiation device has to be outside, has to be readily accessible. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd like to either stay connected or be notified about future videos related to solar PV systems, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.